Today I am going to walk you through how to use a program that is called Puzzle Maker Lite. I really like it. I've used it a couple times for classrooms. What it does is it makes crosswords, as you can see right here, or you can make a word search. Um, for today we're just going to do a crossword, and a really simple one at that. So, what you do is you can download it from the uh, App Store from Apple. And all you have to do is you open it up, you press this little plus button in the bottom left hand corner, and it asks you for your word and your clue. You can also see them once you press enter right here, the word and the clue right here. So for starters, word, let's do, um, let's do daughter. And so you just type it in there and the clue is um, a girl child and you press enter or add and we can add another word like um, let's do movie and a sequence of moving pictures often accompanied by sound. Add. So, if that's all we're going to do, which for today that's all we'll do, so you just press finish and then you'll see all of your words, all of your clues. If you want to add some more, you can press the add button right here, but for right now this is good. Uh, you go to build. Press finish, and then it'll give you a couple different ways that you could have this puzzle look. So let's just go with this one. Click it, press OK. It'll show up right here. You can make your own key. You can go ahead and print this out, hand it out to students, whatever you want. This free version only allows up to about 15 words, but it's the free version. So if you want more than 15 words, you can buy it, but 15 usually works fine. So then you can print it, do whatever, hand it out, and it's a really good way to have a little fun activity. Thanks for listening.